Hey everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome to my channel, Ellie the Earthling. In this video I want to talk about one of my zero waste hacks which could help you to save around 10 kilograms of waste every single year and it's really simple, it's really easy and everyone can do it. So basically uh, the reason that I want to make this video and to inspire more people to um, do, do this is because of something that I feel really passionately about in the zero waste um, movement and I think that this is the most important type of waste to target, to eliminate and that is one use only disposable waste so um, it's things like um, coffee cups and paper cups or plastic cups and coffee cup lids that you'd use for takeaway coffee or something like that, takeaway juice, something like that. Um, takeaway containers that we'd use to um, for food, plastic cutlery um, which you'd also use for food and plastic straws which are obviously used for juices and things like that. So all of these um, plastics or waste products are only used for anything from one minute to ten minutes probably maximum amount of use before they get thrown away and they can't be recycled. The volume of waste that we produce of them every single year is massive and it's just stupid waste that doesn't need to happen. Um, and a lot of it ends up in the oceans and a lot of it gets eaten by wildlife or swallowed by wildlife, damaged, damaged wildlife. Um, and yeah, it just, it just doesn't need to happen. So I want to inspire everybody to do something to help stop this um, terrible amount of waste that we produce every single year. So the way that you can combat it is with my zero waste on the go bag. Okay, so this is a bag which contains all of these um, essential products that are used every single day for takeaway food, for takeaway drinks, um, things like that. And the, the things that are inside the bag can be washed and reused. So they um, don't need to be thrown away and if you keep this bag with you at all times um, then you can make sure that you pretty much never produce any of this one use only waste and this bag is very small and it's very light and I just put it in every single bag whenever I go out for the day it's always in my bag so I always know that I've got it on me and it's always got everything inside. Okay, so now let's go through each item inside of the bag. So the first item is a Kilner jar. This jar is for takeaway tea and takeaway coffee. So Kilner jars are actually heat proof, I think up to about 70 degrees and I have never had a problem with them um, whenever I've used takeaway tea and coffee. Um, at Starbucks they actually do a 25p discount for using your own container and the Kilner jar costs about £1.50 so in six takeaway teas or coffees the jar will actually pay for itself if you're using Starbucks. It's actually estimated that per year we use on average every single person uses one disposable um, coffee cup with lid every single day. So that's about 365 coffee cups per year that are being thrown away. If you were to take a Kilner jar with you and have it in your bag at all times so that you would avoid um, producing any of that waste, you would save 
um, just over five kilograms of waste every single year. The next thing is a tin and this is a food tin. It can be for food, um, it can be if I buy anything like a, um, a cake or any kind of loose food item that would normally have to be put inside a plastic bag, I'll put it inside here um, and it can also be for takeaway food and the lid doubles up as a plate as well which is quite nice so um, it can be used as um, extra kind of space for extra food if I have anything like that. Um, it's quite difficult to find tins that are like this, they're quite small so I'll leave some links in the description for places that you can get them in the UK. With the food containers there is actually no data at all on how many we use per year because so many get thrown away that it's just impossible for um, them to count. The uh, food containers weigh about 34 grams each so if we were to use about two of those per week then you could save um, 3.7 kilograms of rubbish from taking a metal container around with you. So the next thing that is in my Zero Waste Essentials bag is metal straws. So these are really really cool um, reusable straws that I love and I think that they just look really cool as well. I've got two different types so I've got the ones that are bended at the top and these are kind of a thinner um, a thinner one so they're good for juices um, and things like that and then I've also got the straight ones which are a bit thicker um, and they're really good for smoothies so I carry both types around with me and I make sure that I've got enough um, for myself and for a friend as well and we um, actually use on average um, about 584 um, disposable straws per person per year so it's about 1.6 straws per day um, is about how many get thrown away um, and plastic straws are actually one of the top 10 most common pieces of rubbish that you will find on a beach um, so in my opinion um, stopping plastic get getting into the ocean is really important and the fact that it's one of the most common types of rubbish that you'll find on a beach really upsets me uh, so I want to do everything that I can to stop the amount of straws um, being produced and being um, scattered all over the beaches so if you um, stop using these 584 straws per year you will save 175 grams of um, waste from those but if you think about the volume the amount of straws that you'll save it's a lot so although they don't weigh very much the volume of plastic that you will save is massive just from taking some metal straws around with you the next thing that I keep inside my zero waste essentials bag is metal cutlery so I generally carry three sets of cutlery around with me at all times to make sure that I've always got some on me that are clean because the bad thing about only taking one set is that it'll get dirty and then if you need another set later on in the day you have to use disposable cutlery. So um, I always make sure I've got enough in my bag to always have one. Um, so with disposable cutlery we generally use about one pair per week and that, so if you were to take metal cutlery around with you, you would save 104 um, pieces of cutlery per year, which is about 884 grams. So it doesn't seem like very much, but volume wise it's a lot, and again a lot like plastic straws, they just get everywhere. So it is important to include that in the Zero Waste Essentials bag. Inside here as well, I also have another cotton drawstring bag. So 
This is really, really useful to put in the dirty straws, and uh, the dirty cutlery and the dirty tin after I've used it. And the next thing is just a little cotton handkerchief. So this is to stop um, any kind of tissues um, and things like that and also um, it can be doubled up and turned into a little bag as well to hold bulk items if I get anything like that and it's just really useful to clear up you know any like spilt mess or anything like that and it can be washed and reused rather than thrown away. Last but not least I have got a um, reusable bag so just a cotton bag and this can be used instead of a plastic bag so for anything that you buy from a shop anything like that this stops plastic bags and I think it's fantastic that they've introduced the 5p bag charge but I still don't think that paying 5p for a reusable bag is sustainable I think that using cotton bags is the best option for the environment and also in the long run it is cheaper as well so I always take my cotton bag with me that's inside my zero waste um, day kit essentials day kit and yeah that saved me a lot of times when I have thought oh no I don't have a bag but I always make sure I've got one inside my bag so the great thing about the zero waste essentials day kit is you can literally just take it out in its little um, drawstring bag and pop it into whichever bag you have with you so there's absolutely no excuse not to have every single one of these little bits contained and in the kit and with you at all times so it's really really easy um, it doesn't cost very much to do it and in the long run you will save a lot of plastic so I hope that you've enjoyed um, hearing about my essentials day-to-day um, -day kit. I actually worked out that if every single one of my subscribers, which is at the time of making this video is 140, if all of you guys went out and made one of these um, essentials day kits and take, took it around with you, um, we could actually save, together, we could save uh, 1,387 kilograms of disposable plastic every single year. So, although it doesn't seem like a lot for one person, if all of you guys did it, and all of you guys told a friend to do it as well, then we could massively increase the amount of people doing this and massively decrease the amount of one-use plastic going to landfill. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If um, you liked this kind of video then please give me a thumbs up and um, leave me a comment to let me know if you're gonna go out and make one of these um, bags and if you've got any other ideas of any other thing that could go inside the bag that I haven't thought of then let me know that as well because I always want to decrease the amount of waste that I'm producing and yeah see you guys again soon bye